Yeah, absolutely. We yeah. have about six people, six people on right now. Right. All right. So then, okay, guys. Can I see anybody though? Let's go. No, All everyone. Right. Nobody wants you today, buddy. <laughs> I know. I'm so scared. You know. <laughs> um. Okay, guys. So, um, I don't. Welcome to to this uh, talk. And definitely, you know, one of the the things that in the last month has been. A big topic for me is, is, is the class that, that we run with the kids, right? So um, first of all, it's, it's, a great, it's a great learning experience for me. It's, it's been such a roller coaster of, of um, emotions between, you know, um, putting something that first is the challenge being at home, right? We don't have, we're, we're used to as coaches being uh, at the gym, having the equipment, having more resources, so how to, Really give the parents, the you know, or whoever kid like some resources to to keep working on on their kid, uh, fitness, right? So uh, not just that, but like really uh, working uh, or or just trying to fit uh, something in the schedule that will help them to to keep a lot of a structure and and physical activity. Uh, that's what we do, and that's uh, one of the the most important parts of, of like any kid development right and um, uh, we can talk about school we can talk about like you know math we can talk about um, a bunch of things that that are important in in, in our kids uh, development and what's going to come with uh, after in their career so what they do in life but but definitely fitness is super key and and just i'm going to talk about a few things that that i think are, are important right so um First of all, I'm going to refer to um, a CrossFit, right? So in CrossFit, we have 10 general skills that are important. From a young person to an older person, right? So what we um, really want to work on is um, first on strength, right? We got um, coordination. We have endurance. We got agility, stamina flexibility, accuracy, balance, speed, and power, right? So um, obviously um, each one of them and in, in their mixed um, activities where we have some strength and flexibility involved, like um, these are just kind of like the, the basic um, skills that, that we just have in mind um, that are important to, to develop a, in a kid that wants to be healthy for life, right? So then being a teenager or being an adult. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not that as parents, we got to be worried about like, oh, what is that specific activity that's going to teach my kid that or that or that. So uh, one of the, the, the main things that we, we got to understand is like, um, it's a stages, right? So according to the stage of the kid, we... Um, can choose to do some sports or some activities that that will help us to to keep our kids um, you know in a good track right and healthy um, so the first thing is like stage one is from like zero to three right so when they're uh, babies the, the most important part for them is to really like um, a crawl right so crawl and in 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 confidence right so so confidence is key, right? So for them to 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 find their little tendency, that thing, and and but one of the main things that 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 at this stage is important is the ability to crawl and to explore, right? So uh, one of the main mistakes I've seen um, with kids is like some some people put their shoes right away, right? Um, obviously, there there's some kids that need for some. Um, reasons right some like uh, issues with bones or whatever like that but like for for a kid just to be barefoot and, and have the experience of touch like for example sand or um, go outside and, and, and step on grass right and it's, it's a lot to do with how they start to develop their balance and coordination and in the foot we have a, like a lot of um nervous receptors that will just trigger just that balance, right? So if you have someone or if you have kids that are younger, like don't put shoes too early, 
that will just really limit their ability to process um, awareness with, with the world, right? So that's one, uh, zero to, to three. Um, and then stage two, between three to six years old, we're thinking about like, choosing anything between three to five sports, right? Then for me, uh, my experience like uh, um, swimming is, is, is one of the sports that, that I uh, think is key. Uh, just to develop confidence and, and right, so coordination with your body. Um, swimming, <clears throat> anything that has to do with um, gymnastics, that's definitely like body awareness, the production of isometric strength, just holding positions, get stand, how to activate their core, uh, and just really like that ability is part of, part of it too. So anything that has to do with gymnastics, body weight um, stuff, and if you actually can really get into activity that has this um, calisthenics uh, activities, that would be great. And another thing like, uh, you know, uh, that has to do with any sport, you know, sport um, that will teach them just the basic social needs of like trying to start with a routine of starting an activity and start of a class or end of a class, uh, listening to instructions, right? And, and that's kind of the same what we do in school, or you know, teachers do in school, but having the, the image of the coach and for them to feel part of a team, that's, that's very important. So anything between three to, to five sports, it, it could be swimming, gymnastics, um, definitely, um, you know, um, like a, a class setting. So for example, the, kid, the kids' fitness that we do, that really is like something like that, right? Uh, then we have ages from seven to 10. Um, then we're gonna try to probably limit more like to two to three sports. Uh, this is kind of the, the kid starts to develop a little more of their likes or what they like, they don't like. Um, and, and this is when we can start putting more emphasis in, in specific activities, right? So maybe at this point, seven to 10, our kid starts to maybe compete, maybe starts to get into some, um, team sport competition or like some games on Saturday or Sunday. That's um, one of the, the, the things that are important. But still, um, one of the, the main thing issues that we, is that we just base our kids' fitness in just team sports, right? So the basic part of like uh, each person, like, it's like developing just different patterns that have to do with um, squatting, to do with hinging, had to do with pushing, pulling, um, and definitely um, motor skills like throwing, catching, the eye-hand coordination, right? So um, two, two to three sports, one for sure, like, you know, some team sports for the reasons that we said, but don't let that, that just be the base of it, right? So we need to still be in touch with an individual development or, you know, uh, of the skills that I mentioned first, which is the strength, coordination, flexibility, all that, um, more on an individual kind of sport. Um, so again, if you want to push the swimming, if you want to push the, the, the gymnastics or um, a fitness class, right? And then we have like 11, 12, um, or 11 to 15. This is more like probably at this point, if our kid is, is into one sport, right? So now we have two, two sports or so one can be, my kid is good at, you know, skating, right? Or hockey. Um, definitely like we can push it a little more into just making that or, or for example, basketball, right? So maybe now there's a chance for him to develop more into that specific sport, but still we need to take in consideration that we need that basic fitness development, right? We don't, um, at this point, our kid probably can start lifting some weights, having some resistance training um, to work on, on, on their, you know, the patterns that we mentioned, right? So um, squatting, pressing, pulling, hinging, and throwing, right? Um, uh, those are the four stages that I uh, see as more kind of the main uh, process of a kid. So from stage one, two, three, and four, right? The, basically it's like, the sports or just getting into learning um, a, a team sport, right? For the social aspect of it, something more like a visual sport where we can develop some body weight awareness and confidence. And um, 
in the basic fitness skills and developing CrossFit. Right? Um, so said that, there's another uh, base for the method, right? So the first one has to do with um, the, the uh, pyramid. So the pyramid of the method of CrossFit starts with nutrition, right? And talking about nutrition um, is, is very important. And at this point, definitely the most important part is for kids to understand that there should be um, food, right? And, and food, what is the, the, the basic, so, uh, fun, um, what's the basic goal of food, right? So the first one will be definitely fueling for your workout. So our kids understanding that, you know, you eat so you can have some energy is very important. Second, the fact of like hydrating yourself is, is key. And after, just this is what we do in sport, but we need to eat in order to make this effective and to be strong, right? Um, my kids are like, I got three under five, right? And, and my kids definitely, um, at this point, that uh, Hulk is green because he eats a lot of spinach, right? So like at, at that level, like, you know, just, they don't believe daddy, but like they believe Hulk, that he's a strong, you know? And uh, so they, they crush the spinach. Like literally that's the way I, I did it. And, you know, and even they show the, the veins and they, they look a little green. They really think like spinach is kind of working to build their muscles, right? Um, so just understanding like food is really a fuel, just like we need the, the food for energy and then we need to hydrate ourselves and we need the food to actually get strong and, and be fast, you know, uh, that's important. One of the, the things that, that I see as a great problem that we have in, in this nowadays, right, like in, in this day and age is, is the, the sugar problem. We have a bunch of products that have sugar integrated in their, their sort of ingredients. And it's, it's crazy, right? So um, definitely like, you know, um, what we do is, is, is going to be key for our kids to see, right? If we have salads at home, if they see that we have a balanced meal, our kids you know, eventually going to kind of like see that as normal, right? So having a salad is normal. Having greens is normal. Um, if we like to snack, if we like to, you know, have um, treats and like ice cream and like that, it makes sense that our kids are gonna, like, you know, I can have that too. But it's, it's very important to, to limit really sugar because um, definitely it's like a drug, right? It's like your, your kids are high in sugar. And understanding like, you know, a kid is, is a kid, he's going to have a cat, he's going to have like, um, you know, some sort of like a treat because, you know, it's, Halloween or whatever, it's important, but just understanding that, that sugar is, is a treat. It's not really like what you have or like cookies is my meal, right? So that's, that's very important to understand. It really like, really get our kids to, to, to really just have that little lesson, that little conversation. Uh, in the next uh, thing about our pyramid, our pyramid is the metabolic condition, right? So um, as we said, can be in a team sport, can be playing soccer, basketball, that's very important to develop, right? Just keeping um, that heart healthy um, is, is key, right? So it can be swimming, can be running, anything more structural, developing that in a kid is, is key, just at the same level, right? Going for a bike ride, right? Going for a walk, that falls into that category. The next one is really gymnastics, and that is just the ability of our kid to be aware of their own body, right? So, um, what we do in, in our uh, class is like we play a lot with the animals and, and yesterday talking to Chris is like for example the gorilla position is a perfect like squat position right so developing those as a game that's that's very important and um, just like you know the ability to to walk in a bear crawl just developing those shoulder triceps core and uh, that's key okay and then in the next level of developing in this pyramid will be strength. It could be, um, you know, with games, right? So the other day, um, I was clean, I live in the basement and I got my kids to, to put their toys in another spot. So, okay guys, let's do this together. So you're gonna have to, let's see the time. And I got a little timer. Let's bring toys from the basement to where we're gonna be now or just upstairs and, and let's see who do it faster, right? So. 
really getting the kids to, to be active that way, that's strength um, work, okay? And, you know, the last thing of the pyramid is just the sport. Um, what's going to happen now, now that we have definitely the limitation of being at home, right? So being at home, um, you know, for depending on the age of your kid, if your kid is usually involved in so many sports and now you don't have them, it must be like, you know, hard to really think like what to do, right? So the most important part is like, um, right now probably we have a little more time, right? Or we have a little window of time. And, and just that is important because we need to make sure that our kid stays still in touch with, okay, we gotta be active, right? First, if, you, if he sees that you guys are active, if you guys are involved in some sort of physical activity, it's more likely that our kids are gonna be willing to do it, right? Second, I, um, the, the most important thing is like having a little time to, to be outside, to be in touch with nature, maybe in the backyard, that is key, right? So limiting the, the time that we are inside or just watching TV or something, um, that's important. And you know, in the previous conversation that we had, like it's important to have that structure. So a time to be outside is cool and it's important. Um, and another thing is like, one of the main things that uh, this conversation is, is for is, or this, this talk is the fitness class, right? So the, the fitness class that, that we're running definitely um, um, has an structure, right? So usually what we do in half an hour, we start with a basic warm up, right? So uh, I tell the kids really like, let's move our neck, let's move our arms, let's just do um, move our hips, do some kicks. So some ballistic stretches are important. And while we do that, I explain to kids like, you know, guys, some people get hurt sometimes, but if you warm up, if you do this, you're not going to get that, um, you're not going to get injured, right? You're not going to get hurt. After that, we like to play with some activation, right? So something to bring the heart rate up. So we do a little game, right? So a little game that has to do with, uh, you know, let's shake your right arm, let's shake your left arm, shake your right leg, and now let's shake everything. We're gonna run, right? So red light, green light. We like to play that game. Uh, so for them to just kind of monitor the speed, coordination, stop, freeze. We do a lot of those games and the kids love them because they can run around. They get a little bit of that warm up. Then from that, uh, the main focus is for them to do some gymnastics. So we talk about like the ability to have some coordination and, and, and core strength. So we play a lot with that crawling, you know, bear crawl, crab walk. We play a lot with the um, gorilla walk, the, bear, the, the tiger walk, elephant walk, dog walk, frog walk. So we got pretty much all the, um, the animals that we can think of. And one of the main things right there is like, uh, they're not even like really thinking about it, but they're developing positions as what we said, the squat, the push-up, right? The hollow, the Superman, which is like key to uh, activate the posterior chain. So we like always to have a section of that um, in different games, like Simon Says, right? Be a banana. A banana definitely is a hollow and stuff like that. Um, then from there, it's time to do some sort of strength. Basic stuff as push-ups, squats, lunges. Pick up something from the ground and put it overhead, right? So ground to overhead. And, um, and, and we like to do, or I, I like to taste the Hulk strength uh, section, right? In that, uh, <laughs> are being consistent through the day. Their push-ups developing. Awesome. Now. I have been telling you for 30 minutes that we're going. Hello. <laughs> um, hi, Summer. Sorry. Uh, Just beating my children. <laughs> so, yeah, so we like to have one uh, specific, like developing some basic patterns, right? Then after that, we do something that is like a cardio workout, right? So we like to do some jumping jacks. We like to do some running around, some burpees. And we, we did added this Ninja Fitness, which is um, just for them to kick and to um, be a little explosive, develop some speed with that and coordination, right? And 
the kids uh, love them, right? Like just you're throwing some some punches like that. I mean, obviously not by violent or anything um, that will promote that, but just for them to, to be active and anything that has to do with um, interval training, right? So we work for 20, 30 seconds. I really monitor how much rest, depending on how you felt, I do it with them. So that's how the class goes. Um, it's really hard, really like sometimes for, depending on the age, for some particular kids, I, with the attention or the, the attention span is short, right? So um, one of the things that, that probably at the beginning uh, is, is like probably the parents are more excited about it. They're more excited about like bringing the kids to a CrossFit class or a fitness class. Uh, but the kid is just like, okay, for like five minutes. And then he goes around, right? And he goes um, and, and wants to play or whatever he's distracted with. Um, but then after the days, I've seen more kids that have been consistent and, and parents doing it with them. They actually have like now 10 minutes, now 15 minutes, and they get more invested in, in kind of like, okay, now this is, is my thing, this is my teacher. Um, and so it's just about repetition and then be consistent. And it happens to adults where we, um, at the beginning, probably we don't even feel like it. But the more we do it and the more they're familiar with the games, um, they actually, I've seen in this like almost like four weeks, really a good um, progress of, of the kid. And I'm pretty sure if they play soccer, if they play basketball, if they play or, or do any other activity, just being active in this kind of classes with some sort of structure, I know it's games, but we're really pushing those um, the principles of, of strength and in and, 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 and the developing the fitness fitness skills that when they go back they're gonna actually be better right so that's what we do it's not just for them to move around but actually do something that is is, is got value and it may be like uh, hard for you guys to keep your kid active or, or just in the screen for like the 30 minutes but what I've seen is just little by little and just encouraging like that is going to be beneficial for them. Really, uh, it, their attention span starts being more and more and more through the days, and the more uh, ex exposure they have to the class, right? So I encourage your parents, or you know, or if you have any uh, friends or any uh, nephews or whoever um, is got in that age, right, four, four to eight, really to um, give it a shot and don't feel like you know maybe you sign uh, one or two times and the kid or your kid didn't have that attention spam really is like try it again and try it again even if it's a little bit even if it's a little bit it really makes a difference um so myths about this right so what if i can uh, have my kid maybe carrying a little bag overhead my kid's gonna be short my kid's gonna you know develop something uh, like you know some injuries like that um those are myths, right? So obviously at any point, uh, injuries can happen, but we really try to get activities or things that will develop the basic uh, principles of fitness that I mentioned at the beginning, right? So I'm gonna repeat them. Strength, coordination, endurance, agility, stamina, flexibility, accuracy, balance, speed, and power, right? So through games is really, um, fun really to, to dive into these skills okay guys so um that's my experience with the the the, the kids fitness class and um, even for my kids uh, sometimes they don't they cannot be there for open, right they just like Daddy, like you know i need to rest or they just look like okay. my kids are like three and five right so um i just i just believe like um at this time that we were at home, it really is a great opportunity to to slow down and all these things that usually we're busy or we're um, not as connected with our kids. It's really a good chance for us to to connect again with them. And, and, and one of the most important things is like they're gonna, or, or we lead by example, right? So I know some of us have a hard time just getting to that work being because work or because we're just not motivated. But um, I don't know, maybe our kids will see that and, and they'll see that we, you know, jump uh, with them 
and then be, be, we're on the floor with them. And we don't know how that can impact really like in the future, right? So um, I, just, I just believe that, that it, it makes a difference. And, and really like just don't, don't give up on if a kid didn't really have that attention span for that first session, try it again, try it again. Maybe every other day we run classes every day at 10.30 a.m. And I, I, I think like, you know, the, the way we're shaping this, this, these sessions is getting better and it has a value for them when they go back to their sports, right? So guys, um, that's what I have today, what I wanted to talk about. So if you guys have any questions right now, is the time. I will be happy to answer. Some of you guys have any specific concerns or, you know, if you have a kid maybe that is a little older, uh, shoot, tell me. Anybody? No? There you go. Hi, Karen. How you doing? <laughs> Karen, tell me, what is experience with you and the kids with the class? Like, like you are being consistent with the, the class? Be nice. uh, we miss about one a week. I, I ask them to do it every day and mm -hmm. I did it for the first two weeks with them every single one because mm -hmm. they needed that. And you're right. They struggle a little bit in the beginning, but when you say, Hey, we get better when we practice, especially when your son says it with you, because mm -hmm. that's what they do in school. So they get a little less discouraged. They love it now. Um, it is that routine. Like, we stop everything. Like our routine is nine o'clock school, 1030, Oscar's workout, 11 o'clock snack, and then we become more flexible. Mm -hmm. But the, the kids like it, and it's not just the fitness, it's the routine and it's kind of keeping um, an activity going because there's no soccer, there's no swimming, there's no gymnastics. So they're, they like it, they really do. Uh, I apologize because I don't do it with you anymore because that's when I pull my laundry. I need I need those twenty minutes. <laughs> right, right. Uh, but it's not, it's a lot of fun to do it with them. Awesome, thank you, thank you, Karen. Honestly, um, um, Jordan and Ryder have been like you know um, from the beginning, right? Like uh, consistent, and I I, I see oh, sometimes they just go a little off track and like that. But like now now it's like. They're getting um, more into it, and, and that's with kids, right? So, um, um, yeah, yesterday I was um, talking really to Chris, and, and, you know, I was, like, trying to bring more games and, and stuff like that. But, like, you know, it's, it's true. Our kids really like repetition, and, and they appreciate sometimes, like, some games. And when they start getting better, it, like, it really it gives them that confidence. And now play that game again, right? Um, you know, so some things that, that – um, uh, we do is like uh, between jumping and the floor is lava, obstacle courses. And I'm just uh, trying really stuff that, that you know, uh, yes, stuff that is, is new for them to, to get something um, uh, new to see. But at the same time, we bring back always the, the, the same uh, games that I know that, that they're so excited. And even at the end, um, I do this thing that's like, show me the muscles, right? And, and it's, it's cool because the kids are like so, uh, pumped to do it and it's a it's been a really really good experience for me and and it's it's such a it's such an honor really like um we as parents we have our kids really is the most precious things that we have and just for me to have that a uh, chance or like just to add something to to your families is 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 an honor guys so um Definitely, like, uh, I'll say, like, uh, you know, thank you for, for putting your kids in, in, this, in this class. And I would love to share more with more kids, and, and it's for the community, right? So, guys, just um, the details about the class, right? So, the class runs every day, Monday to Friday at 10, 10 30 a.m. We use um, basic things that we find at home just to, as, you know, props uh, or uh, like towels, like pillows, stuff animals, if you have some balls like that. So it's very simple. Um, it's, it, you just need like a little in room. And it's, it's based on games, but that, that will develop um, the general tense, uh, uh, physical skills or fitness skills. And it's, it's got a structure of a warm-up, um, activation game, 
uh, that has to do with um, some co coordination. We have gymnastics, um, kind of like development, right? Uh, body awareness. We got some um, metabolic conditioning, so that get the heart rate up. And even at the end, uh, we do a little bit of yoga and movements, right? For them to, to be mindful of like, okay, it's time to relax. And we talk about food really like as being important for them to, to get the muscles and to be better. And just give them a chance of practice makes, makes, makes you better, right? So guys, um, thank you for joining. Any one last question or any comment? All good? Thanks a lot, Oscar. I appreciate you taking out uh, your guys, time to uh, talk to us. Thank you, thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Chris. And it's such an honor. I'll see you next time. And before we leave, show me the muscles, guys. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Okay, guys. Have a great day. See you guys. Bye-bye. Take care. All right.